said they might. Yeah, well, we don't want to ruin the rug, do we? Oh, don't forget the fan cards. Uh, right, yeah. What in there? Tapes. Quick. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Mum, I'll tell Judge to drive carefully. Yeah, he'll ring you the minute. No, no, don't come down there. All right. See ya. I feel a bit sick. Here, Cal, when you come over, can you bring us a pick? Yeah, Ollie well, wants to get the leg twats today, but. Yeah. Cross that! Yeah, you and all! Wake up! Yeah, that was Daddy. Drive normally. Joe, what's the bump? Yeah, sorry. Oh, oh, God. All right, I'm going to give you an examination now. All right, up your legs. That's it. Can't do this. I've got something. Right. Oh. You're only two centimetres dilated. Two centimetres? Oh. And what I suggest... As you go home, have a bath, try and relax, all right? And come back when the contractions are about three to four minutes apart. If you think I'm taking one step outside this sodding room, you've got another thing coming. I want an epidural! Some women find pethidine very effective. <gasps> oh! I can't do it. I yes, you can. Yes, you can. You're doing fine, Susie. Why don't you try some breathing exercises? I want an epidural. I want an epidural! All right, all right. I'll go and see if there's an anaesthetist for it. Orange midwife. Hang on, where's the other one? New shift. Now, I just need to make a few observations, see where we are, how baby's doing. I want an epidural. I asked for one ages ago. Do you need to see in the theatre? We're really busy today, I'm sorry. <sighs> Shit! Good girl, go on, get it down, get it down, get it down. That's it, go on, go on. I can't do it anymore. You're doing brilliantly. Oh, we've just called the doctor because you need some help. The baby's a bit It's going to be all right, though. It's OK. What do you mean the baby's distressed? What do you... Susie, we need to give you a bit of help delivering the baby. Did you call the paediatric yeah. bridge? Can you just move your legs, please? Now, I just want you to move your bottom down the bed. OK, a little bit more. That's it. What's Maybe happening? I don't understand what's okay, happening. No, what's happening? I don't... When baby's born, we'll take baby over there and check everything's OK. I want an epidural. No time, I'm afraid. What's going on? I don't understand. What's going on? OK, Susie, nice deep breath. Ah! Push now. Go on, Susie. That's it. No, no, no. no. Ah! OK, now pant. I don't want to push. No pushing. Pant. No. Oh. That's it. Ah! Big push. Okay. OK, Susie, oh. the head's out. Oh. Oh, the head's out, Susie, the head's out! Oh, you're doing brilliantly, the head's out, Susie! Oh. Oh. Big push, oh. Susie. Oh. Oh. No. Here come the shoulders, oh. one more. Here come the Keep shoulders. Come on, Susie, come on, come on! Here come the shoulders, one more. Oh. Oh. Big push. Oh. That's it. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy! It's a boy! Only a bloke could be stupid enough to bring jeans. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Anyway, I thought you packed everything. 
Oh, really lovely. Yeah. So, we'll take him home then, shall we? Yep. My family. My family. Scary stuff. I always did my best. Always. But you marry them, oh, they change. Give them a baby, they change. Oh, we all change, Bobby. <laughs> no, no, we don't change. Men don't change, <laughs> only women. I'm telling you, she was bloody murder, like Jekyll and Hyde. It's the chemicals or something. Susie is the same now as she was when we were living together. I've got to be honest, I didn't think you two had last five minutes. Cheers, mate. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I didn't think there was a man breathing who'd put up with my daughter. You what? Oh, your dad was just telling me uh, what a lucky man I am. See ya. Oh, I know they mean what, but they do my head in. Yeah, we've all got upset and we've done these baby says. Park up in some quiet street. Climb into the back seat. Be like old times. Mm. Yeah, well right now shop shut for refurbishment, mate. Back to the moment. The only place I want to put my fan in is in a warm, salty bath. Behave yourself, I might let you blow dry my stitches later. <laughs> Love nest is there. No. I've told you, get yourself a boyfriend. Are oh. some men never disappointed? Oh no, you're never disappointed, <laughs> oh, are you? No. <laughs> They're always really like. Time for me to go. Yes. Oh, someone's filled his nappy, eh? Well, go on then. Show him what a new man you are. Do you upstairs, eh? Yeah, yeah. I'll get it. Only does it. We've got company. <laughs> Likes to show off. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, the sad bitch in the corner would like to say something here. <laughs> Who's a sad bitch? Take your pick. Oh, yeah, hey. cheeky girl. Oh, look at him. Getting really good at this, ain't ya? Yep. There you go. OK. I gotta go. Don't you lot get too drunk, yeah? See you later. Thank you. Big boy. Yourself. I don't believe this. Not one clean shirt, not one. Well, you know what to do, don't you? Do your own laundry. Yeah, well, I would if I was at home all day. <laughs> See ya. Come on. He's good, though, not his clothes. I don't know. Yes, you have. Yeah, where's the baby? Having a nap. Hey, those little knickers are no good to you. You want to get yourself a roll on. You need something to keep your tummy in when you've had a baby. You sure you won't stay for tea, Mum? No, I better get back. Your father will be wondering where I am. He's probably got your dinner on the table. Lord, I hope not. Why's that, Doc? Because it'd mean he was up to something. In 40 odd years of marriage, one thing I've learned is your father never puts himself out unless he's got a guilty conscience or he wants something. Oh, don't forget, if you want someone to babysit, ta See you Bye. later. Hi, Dot. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. When he's a bit older. Well, otherwise I never get to sleep. Look, all I'm saying is I don't think it's a good idea for him to get into the habit of coming into our bed. Since when have you been an expert on babies? Or have got a few I don't know about? Anyway, be easy if I wasn't so tired. 
Yeah, well, whatever. I've got to go to work. I'll see you later. you is you don't seem to think having a baby should make any difference the way things were before. Yeah, well maybe your trouble is you don't want anything to be the way it was before. What's that supposed to mean? Get it? No, what do you mean? Well, you don't seem to give a toss about us for a start. Us? What are you talking about, us? Oh, sex, is that it? I thought that's what your dirty video was taking care of. This isn't about sex, it's about us! Our marriage! Our marriage? I've just had your bloody baby, for Christ's sake. I thought that's what you wanted. That is what I wanted. You were full of it in the hospital, weren't you? All that bollocks about you and your family. Now it just turns out you're jealous of your own kid. Don't be ridiculous. Well, what else would you call it, then? Sleep on the sofa, you can sleep with me, eh? I still can't believe it though. Not Steve. Can you? What about if I get Joe to have a word of him? No. But you've got to talk to him, Jan. You gotta tell him about the baby for a start. <sighs> you can't do this. Steve loves you. But not enough. Look, um, I'll leave you two to it, yeah? the affair. There is no affair. It's all up there. I think this is a good idea, you know? Don't flatter yourself. I'm here because of Susie. Oh, yeah, you found yourself a new friend. The barmaid at the Crown. Ain't you got any sense at all? Or are your brain's still in your pants? She doesn't mean anything. No. They never do, do they? Do you know how lucky you are? Susie loves you to bits. You've got a beautiful baby, a nice home. Are you going to risk all that for a... I love my wife, Mandy. 
But ever since a baby, she's changed. It's oh! Oh, poor you. So you married a sex siren, and now you're lumbered with an earth mother. Oh, grow up, will you, Joe? When your tits are leaking, and your belly feels like a built-in beanbag, you want the baggy T-shirts, not the see-through baby dolls. She's knackered, Joe. How many times do you get up in the night, eh? You think I'm a right bastard, don't you? I never meant to hurt you, Mandy, you know that. But you did. And you hurt Susie too, and she don't deserve to go through all that again. Get it sorted. Sorry, I must have the wrong house. Who are you looking for, mate? Um... It's all right. Thanks. Thanks anyway. No problem. How was it? Yeah, it was great. Anna was on good form. Mandy got pissed. Had a pop at you. Started mouthing off about your wandering hands. What do you reckon that was about then? Well, like you said, she was pissed. Is baby all right? Good as gold. We had a visitor. Who? Some bloke. Go on, what sort of bloke? Tall fella. Wore a wax jacket, drove one of those poncy upside down prams. Well, didn't he leave his name? No. What'd he want? Said he'd got the wrong house. There you are then. I'm going to bed. You look up, eh? Gus, I can't. I love Joe. Susie. I've got to go. <laughs> Thanks. You complain I never make you a decent meal and then when I do make an effort. <laughs> Me off. Okay, you want to talk? Let's talk, eh? Had a good day, have you? Had a nice time at the playgroup? Yeah, it was all right. Nathan got a bit of a bump on his head. Oh, you do actually pay him some attention then? Of course I do. What are you on about? Only from where I was sitting, you didn't seem to give a shit about the baby. What are you talking about from where you were sitting? What is your problem, Joe? I'll tell you what my problem is. My problem is you and that Ponzi bastard from the playgroup. I saw you. Oh, so what? I told you about Gus. Didn't tell me you were shagging him, did you? Shagging? What are you talking about? I don't know what you saw, but it wasn't shagging. What was all that about? What was all that about, eh? I'll kill him. Joe! Joe! Look, nothing oh, happened. Oh. The reason you don't want me to touch her is because he's shagging you. <sighs> you haven't got a clue, have you? At least Gus understands what a woman wants. Oh, does he? Well, if Gus understands so much, how come he doesn't know a slut when he sees one? You bastard! Yeah, well, if I'm such a slut, why don't you go and look for someone else to screw then? What makes you think I haven't?
I'll check on the baby. What's she doing here? Don't complain, mate. She's got a lot more faith in you than I have. What did she say? She said you only said about having the affair because you was jealous. Well? I am not having an affair. Neither am I. Suze, I've been outside for ten minutes. Right, I've left his milk on the chest of drawers by his cot, OK? And his Tiggy Winkle. He likes to come back before he goes to sleep, don't, don't you? Worry. All right, bye. <laughs> oh, oh, you know where his nappies are, don't you? Come on, babe, I've got the table. Right, and this is where we're going, and our mobile numbers, OK? We have had two kids oh, of our own, you know. Don't cry, Nathan, it's all rolling. I'll see you later, Mum. Yes, are you sure he's going to be all right, Mum? He'll be all right. Come on, right. Come on. Come on. Come on. you Come that's on. making him cry. Seems funny, doesn't it? Being out, just the two of us. Yeah, it's like we're bunking up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I should phone home? No, they'll be fine. Did you see him wave at us when we left? Yeah. I think he's really advanced, don't you? You know, Clive at work asked me if he was walking yet. He shouldn't be walking yet, should he? No, no, not yet. That's what I thought. Oh, it's poor swollen gums. Did I tell my mum to put gel on them? Yeah. I think I'll phone home just in case. OK. How many do you reckon, then? What, kids? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought it might have been a case of once bitten, twice shy. No. It's got to be easier after the first one. Yeah, I wouldn't want Nathan to be on his own. Yeah. Right, and make sure you eat a dinner before you have to drive that, okay? Four pots of milk in there, love. One about eleven. One about. I know, I know. Look, there'll be me, your mum, your dad. We'll cope, cope. Have a good time. All right, I go. Oh, bye, my darling. Oh. Bye, oh shit. <laughs> You've got milk all over me. I'll see you later, okay? No. Oi, oi, oi! In front, just on the inside, begging the runners to try and come and pass up. Jesus! Oh, look at that. Oh, look, Nathan, look, there's Abby on the telly. <laughs>